This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, the 10th of February. James Spann here, and everybody want to know about the snow deal on Friday. Who gets snow? How much? When? Let's see if we can answer those questions. Let's go right to some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. First off, coming from Tuscaloosa. The sky generally cloudy. We've seen some sun today, but on the other hand, it's been cloudy at times, and even a few snow flurries were seen earlier this morning. That's the Montgomery Sky Cam down below the Eastern Bypass, and we wonder if they will see more snow than Birmingham on Friday. Could very well be. And way down south, that's our Gulf Shores Sky Cam looking back off to the uh, west from the Phoenix All Suites, and it'll be mostly rain down there, but by golly, they might see a flake or two, especially uh, north of Interstate 10, just north of there. There you go. We've got uh, blizzard number one that's sitting on the upper Atlantic coast. Uh, that is a whopper of a snowstorm again for Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York. And our new storm digging down into uh, the Gulf of California. And that's the one we'll have to watch, the subtropical jet stream cutting underneath that thing. And that should lay down some snow for some folks across the deep south. And it's cold. Those numbers are considerably below the statistical guidance for today. As I often mention, uh, the Moss products, model output statistics, are often no good when you've got anomalous weather like this. Uh, temperatures, in fact, below freezing up in parts of North Alabama where the models had us up in the 40s today. Uh, and we're going to stay cold for a while. It's just not going to warm up with that uh, negative Arctic oscillation. There's the watch warning map, and uh, look at the blizzard warnings up there for uh, the District of Columbia, Maryland, New Jersey, Delaware, Long Island, and, uh, again, we note the Weather Service in Jackson, a winter storm watch for many of their counties with this new system coming in. Here's the uh, existing blizzard. Looks like it's about to uh, wind down in D.C. and uh, in Baltimore, but, man, it's just cranking up in New York. And check out that surface low, 980 millibars just east of Atlantic City. Goodness gracious. That's a big mess right there. Uh, we'll look at the snow outlook. This is day one. All the problems for the Appalachians on up into the northeast. And again, the bullseye from Washington up to Boston. Tomorrow, the guys have a, a low-end probability, and this is of at least four inches of snow, uh, really all the way from uh, New Mexico to near Jackson and Meridian, roughly along uh, Interstate 20. And on day three, which is Friday, they've got the uh, area lined up there from Jackson to near Greenville, South Carolina, including Birmingham and Anniston. And, uh, again, we think the better chance of the heavier snow might be a little farther south than that. But then, again, that matches climatology better. There's the QPF chart, uh, rain, precipitation for the next five days, heaviest on the Louisiana coast. And up this way, it's suggesting about uh, one-half inch of something. And uh, we'll see what that something's going to be by Friday. Let's just get right to it. Uh, just go ahead and show you this is what we've come up with for Friday, or I have. Uh, based on modeling and experience and climatology and gut feeling and everything else uh, uh, for the Interstate 20 corridor and point south, about uh, potential for an inch or so, not that much. That would be Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston South. North of Interstate 20, just a little bit of snow, a dusting. The, the better chance of the really good accumulating snows would seem to be along US 80. Uh, that's uh, Demopolis, Selma, Montgomery, and Auburn, Opelika, south down to US 84. And that's uh, uh, Grove Hill to Evergreen to Dothan. That's where there's going to be plenty of moisture available. We're going to be in pretty dry air up here. And then i got a dusting along Interstate 10. Of course, a lot of that's going to fall in the form of rain down there. But just what I'm trying to say is a few snowflakes. We'll peek at the uh, GFS uh, snow total off the 12Z run, the accumulated snow. And, boy, what a... What a good snow that would be for our friends around Jackson, Mississippi. That's a bullseye of, what, uh, five to six inches in Jackson. And that's suggesting three-inch amounts over into South Alabama, two-inch amounts for much of the southern half of the state. And, again, you can see how that kind of jives up with that graphic that we just drew is the GFS has indeed adjusted north. And this is the RPM accumulated snow, rapid precision mesoscale model that we see here in the office. And it's got all the snow way south of here. Uh, really south of a line from near Butler to Montgomery to Phoenix City in Columbus, Georgia. And some really good snow down there along Interstate 10 from Mobile and Crestview, Florida, in Bay Manette, Alabama, in Atmore and Bruton. Wow. 
It just looks like a good South Alabama snowstorm, something they don't see that often. Uh, we'll look at the uh, 12Z GFS. This is noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. Storm number one is gone. The second one digging down through uh, the Big Bend of Texas. Down below that, uh, all the rain and snow breaks out over Texas. We'll go to noon Friday. This is the 12Z GFS. And again, you can see the model definitely trending northward. Instead of the low being over Cuba, it's in the central Gulf. And the deeper moisture is over South Alabama. And we get a little bit up here, just what our forecast indicated. Uh... Here's a look at the NAM, North American Mesoscale. Very similar. If anything, it's a bit slower. Um, maybe Friday afternoon or Friday evening. Here's the uh, Canadian model. This has been the most aggressive all along. Uh, this is valid Friday evening at uh, 6 o'clock, and this would suggest better snows. In fact, if this is right, 5, 6 inches down there in South Alabama with maybe 2 or 3 up here, but that's a little on the aggressive side. The European, kind of a blend between the American models and the Canadian, and that seems to be a more of a steady state model, and that's really what we based our forecast on. So uh, snow for Friday, mainly over the southern half of the state. Somebody down there could pick up a pretty good bit. Again, I've got the one to three inches down there, but somebody probably will get more. We just don't have the skill and at this phase of the game and identifying where that heavier snow band sets up. Saturday, it's all gone. It's going to be a dry and cold day. And Sunday, look at the clipper coming down the pike at Wichita, Kansas. That thing's pretty strong. Now, uh, they don't pack a lot of moisture, but they can produce some incredible upward velocity in the atmosphere. And we think that will squeeze out some light snow Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. And look at Monday, just cold. That trough bottoming out right over us and... Uh, uh, if this is right, we'll be below freezing all day with a strong north wind and snow flurries on Monday. A very, very cold, raw, wintry day. Tuesday, dry and cold. Wednesday, a week from today, dry and cold. Uh, we'll dig deeper a couple of days. Here comes the, uh, this is the 19th. And again, look at the uh, pattern. Uh, ridge in the west, trough in the east. Very cold air. Maybe a few flurries there. And out there in the 26th, uh, split flow. Uh, got a strong southern branch system and uh, the cold air is way north of us, if this is right, and that's just a big wet down. But again, uh, obviously, we don't know at this point. There's the AO, and again, it's strongly negative for the next couple of weeks, beginning to show some sign of going back toward neutral. But again, it's still pretty strongly negative out there at the end of this month. So cold and unsettled is going to be the theme for a while. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on TV this evening, ABC 3340 News in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.